And I'm doing this short video to promote my new book entitled Love from Out of This World, The Story That Changed the Cosmos Forever. I'm not going to get into too many details about the story itself, but I'll just give a brief overview about it. The story primarily revolves around two people, one being a normal college student named Richard Wokatsi, the other being a princess named Celestri Zandora from the planet Endoma. Now Richard is kind of the, I know you want to say loner, geeky type kid, but he likes to do some stupid things, just like uh, normal college students today like to do stupid stuff. So even though it's a 23rd century setting, college students are still doing stupid things. And um, it is revealed in this book, uh, a lot of life in the 23rd century. It's uh, a lot more advanced than what it is today, but there are still some similarities. The story itself really picks up though, when it is revealed that there is a massive war taking place on the planet Endoma. I and mean, what happens there is the uh, governor wants the princess's hand in marriage. However, he is declined by the king, so he decides to lead a rebellion and overthrow King Andorra and his family. So this here leads to a massive war on the uh, planet and it is basically thrown into a global war. But um, at this point Celestris is sent to a moon in a space capsule. However, Regaius makes a decision that if he can't have Celestris then no one can and he decides to try to kill her. So he has one of his uh, warships fire a space laser to destroy the capsule. However, that is intercepted by one of the king's uh, own weapons. So, long story short, back on Earth, uh, the group of friends go camping. Richard has his heart broken by his uh, crush, so he decides to, he goes storming into the woods uh, to be alone. And he says a quick prayer, and he looks up and sees a shooting star, which happens to be the princess's capsule. The capsule lands across the lake, and the group investigate it and find out that it is a space um, transport system and not a meteorite. Richard manages to get the uh, door open and notices that the princess is inside and she's hysterical at first and the group decide to uh, try to conceal her identity uh, with the exception of one of the girls who believes that they should report it to the federal government. However, Richard and Roberto strongly oppose her and the decision is made that they will uh, try to hide her. And the uh, king uh, returns his focus to trying to find his daughter. The space capsule comes up to life and uh, sends a signal to Endoma and it is revealed that Celestris has landed on another advanced planet. There is hope in the king's family that she is still alive. So he decides to send a space fleet to the Earth. While this is going on, of course, Richard and Celestris are getting closer and closer, and they, of course, you know, fall in love and all that stuff, become boyfriend and girlfriend. However, Richard decides to dump her, breaks her heart, and she actually begins to die. So Celestris winds up in the hospital, and the doctors can't figure out what's wrong with her, and she slips into a coma. By this time, uh, the king's spaceships arrive right between the Earth and the Moon, it's around the planet. And the President is informed, and uh, the President is actually shocked when he sees King Andorra's face pop up on his screen, and at first he thinks it's a joke, but when he realizes that the planet is surrounded by warships, uh, he's confronted with the fact that this is no joke, and that um, this King wants his daughter back alive. So, I won't get into all the technical details about that, but um, the President issues a warrant for Celestri's arrest. While this is going on, Richard comes to his senses and realizes how much uh, Celestris loves him. And so he rushes to the hospital and uh, tells her how much he loves her and uh, holds her in his arms. Well, the police pull in behind Richard while he's flying his car and say he's under arrest for kidnapping. So this event leads to a massive police chase through Jersey City and Manhattan. And the climax of the story takes place near the Statue of Liberty. And actually on the crown of the Statue of Liberty, uh, Roberto, uh, Richard, and Celestris are actually beamed into the King's starship. Richard is now standing before the king, and the king wants to kill him. So that is all I'll say about this um, uh, story right now. Uh, the ending is very action-packed. Again, this book is available at Barnes & Noble, uh, Amazon.com, Baker & Taylor. And the title is Love from Out of This World, the story that changed the cosmos forever. I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, have a good night.